Okay, we gotta think of something. Uh, what should I do this week? Think of something. Think of a solution, cutie. <sighs> While you do your normal stuff, anyway. I was married in another, in another, I mean, Cutie was married in another life. Ahem. <clears throat> Just gotta think of something. Hey. Did you hear? Hear what? Damien's been expelled. I heard he got t caught trying to take advantage of a freshman boy, no names named, and then Professor Potsdam called down flaming swords and sliced him up and he ran away. That sounds a little over-exaggerated. Well, that's just what I heard. The important thing is, he's gone. No more demon boy. Hooray! <laughs> I wonder what really happened. Hello? <laughs> Keep getting delays in my game. Hmm. In the morning, all three of us are busy trying to organize our belongings before we leave for the holidays. Are you going to the play tonight? The musical? Eh, probably if I remember where I put my change. Oh, right. Tickets cost money. Cutie? Well, if Virginia's going, I guess I should go. Yeah, I'll be there. Tomorrow I'll be home again, and then there's only one month of school left. Wow, I can't believe we're here already. The first half of, of the school year always seems to drag, and then the last half takes longer. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Are you alright? Same as usual. I was just thinking when I was packing. I can't keep dragging this out. It's making me crazy. I've got to come to a decision, one way or another, before the end of the year. And if I do decide to quit, this is my last trip home. Yeah. Now stop making me think sad thoughts. I'm gonna go watch giant plants eat people. It'll be cool. <laughs> well, that's one way to handle it, I guess. Oh, Virginia, don't make any rash decisions. There are a lot of people here. Not just students, but ordinary people and families who must have driven up here to see the play. After I buy my ticket, I can go inside. The small place of purchase of frightening things is an exciting story, packed with song and dance and special effects. Especially the scene where the librarian has to fend off an entire jungle of killer plants with her flaming sword in order to rescue her swooning love interest. Uh, th those are the plants that Virginia was talking about, I guess. I don't know a lot about music, but the songs are fun and keep things moving. Unfortunately, by the end, it would appear that the world is doomed. But thankfully, only the world on stage. Hooray! And then it's time to go. Time to go on vacation. I'm so glad we get beautiful weather the entire time we're on vacation. <laughs> All the time. Sunny every day. <sighs> and it just flies by. Well, another visit over. I can't help but think that this feels more like coming home than last Saturday did. And of course, it's good to see Virginia again. Hi, how was your break? It was great, I guess. You guess? It was fine. Whoa, what happened? Um, okay. I was just thinking how nice it is to be back. You know, with my friends. Whatever. Look, I, I don't want to bother you. I was just trying to talk. I don't want to talk. I guess not. She makes a face and sighs. Oh, I don't... I can't... I, I'm going out. Uh, I'll see you later then? Yeah. Well, she's certainly not happy to be back. I can't really blame her though. Hey, don't be mad at me, I didn't do anything. Alright, last week Damien exited. Virginia had a... hid? Virginia heard a rumor that Damien has been expelled. Which is probably true, because we never hear or see from him again. 
muted welcome. I was happy to see Virginia when I got back to school, but she was in an awful mood and wouldn't talk to me. How she gets out of her funk? Don't want her angry at me. That's no good. Well, time to get back to work. Hmm. What class are you taking today? Nothing. Don't feel like it. Are you getting sick again? No, I'm not sick. Just leave me alone. This mess with Jacob is really getting to her. I know she's upset, but I do need to figure out what I'm doing this week. Did I do something wrong? I'm really, really worried now that I've... Maybe I should take study today, so I'm here with her. Alright, if she needs space. Don't second guess it, just do it. Just do it. Okay, maybe this was a good idea. Hey, cutie. You missed dinner. I'm not hungry. I know how that feels. You can't go on like this. You really will make yourself sick. Well, what else am I supposed to do, huh? You said you were going to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't. I can't do it. Both choices suck. Everything sucks. What if there's a third choice? <laughs> Virginia sniffles briefly, then rubs a hand across her face. Like what? I don't know. Do witches have nuns? I think people used to get out of betrothals that way by joining the church. No, nothing like that. Well, there must be something. And then a thought occurs to me. For all the great fuss that's been made about the binding promises, Virginia's never actually shown me the contract. Come on, cutie, be smart. You still have that contract here somewhere, right? Yes, and burning it won't help. Can I see? I guess. She digs out the offending paper and hands it to me to read. We, Virginia Louise Danson and Jacob Maximilian Blazing. That's a pretty awesome name. The loving ancestors, the souls of the earth, and the shining swear that we will get married when we are 18 years old. I read through it a few times, and then finally I see it. See what? Do you know what this says? Uh, yes? You two swore to get married. Nowhere did you swear to marry each other. What? Look for yourself. She grabs the contract back from me. You, you're you right. Way to go, cutie. I'd high-five you if you were real. You don't have to marry Jacob. You can marry anybody you like when you're 18 and still keep your oath. Even me. Oh. I... Don't swoon on me. It doesn't have to be real. It's just paperwork, right? We don't have to do romance the way the world thinks it should be done. <laughs> So, you'd be okay with being married just for the name of it, and then splitting up after? If it's what you want. Being married wouldn't mean we had to be madly in love, and not being married wouldn't mean we had to stop liking each other. I... I guess you're right. Well, as long as we're careful what wedding oaths we swear anyway. <laughs> Is that a proposal? She hides her face in her hands, and her shoulders shake, but this time she's laughing. <laughs> no, no proposals. I'm not promising anything. Just maybe. Maybe it's not hopeless after all. I catch her hand in mine. There is always hope, especially where there's two brave and adventurous horse girls to go to the rescue. You... I hate to tell you this, but you're sounding awfully... Romantic. Right. Do you want me to stop? Um, well, if we might be maybe someday thinking of. Maybe we ought to try and see how we like it. Oh, that's right. We never did get a chance to finish what we started that one time. Maybe now we should. Kiss you too! Yay! <laughs> I still don't know what to do with my hands, and I'm only taking a guess with my lips, but for a first try, I don't think I'm doing too badly. <laughs> I look like Grabiner in this picture. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna say. I look like a brown haired version of Krabbener and a not so pale version. And then I hear the thumping sound of something being dropped to the floor. Ellen! Ugh. How did she get into the room without either of us noticing? She's a ninja, man. Ah! Uh, <laughs> sorry! I'll just leave! It's not what it looks like. No, really, I don't mind. It's none of my business. We ought to tell her what's really going on. And so, with a nod from Virginia, I lay out the whole silly story. <laughs> Ellen's face. The child had promised, the Valentine's surprise, Jacob's offer, Virginia's despair, and finally, my brilliant solution. Well, of course that's a loophole in the contract. I'm surprised it took you that long to see it. Hey, now she tells us. Next time you get stuck in a magical oath, remember to ask Ellen first. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the... So, um, are you guys dating? I don't mind. I don't know. Are we? It's complicated. What kind of answer is that? My kind of answer. It's far too soon to say anything for certain about how our relationship will go. But for now, the future looks safe and bright. Yay, we got the kiss! Woo! I wake up to someone shaking my shoulder. Cutie, wake up! Don't say anything. I start to open my mouth and she sticks her hand over it. Not a single word, it's very important. I nod and she releases me, only to run over to Ellen's bed and repeat the same routine. Once she has us both awake and silent, she continues. It's the first of the month, and that means there's an important ritual you have to carry out. I did it first thing when I got up. If you say anything, you'll break the spell and be cursed. Both of you walk up to the window, put your nose and forehead against the glass. This sounds a bit odd, but Virginia knows better than we do, so we obey. You didn't say anything the other first of the months. Now, I'm going to tell you to say something. You say it, then you close your eyes and turn around. Alright, here's what you say. Rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. Then as instructed, I close my eyes and turn around. And feel a tweak on my nose. April Fools! That's not an April Fools. What do you mean? That's a real superstition. Yeah, but there's not a real curse, and I got your nose, so it still counts. <laughs> but you had to get out of bed early to do it. Which means you can come to breakfast! <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's certainly in better spirits today. That's good. I'm glad. Don't like Blum, Virginia. That's no good. No good at all. Oh, I forgot about you, Grabby. Miss Patuti, if I might have a word... Of course. He gestures to a nearby door with almost believable politeness. After you. Thank you. As you are unfamiliar with the local customs, and I have been unable to locate Miss Cochran, I should inform you of an upcoming event. The first storm in the month of April is celebrated with a thunder call. As soon as a storm picks up sufficient strength, no matter the time of day, all students must gather in the gym. As officers, it falls to you to ensure that the members of your class are notified and rounded up. Okay. What do we do once we get there? The purpose of the rite is to cause exhaustion and headaches through drumming, wild gyrations, and screaming at the top of one's lungs. So it's a dance. Why couldn't he just say that? He likes to be cryptic. It is also important that you maintain order among the underclassmen. Freshmen are not, under any circumstances, to attempt fire spinning. How do you spin fire? You do not. Right. <clears throat> if you have no further questions, you may be on your way. Right. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> See ya. So, a wild dance that could happen at any time. In the middle of class would be interesting. Oh, if only. <laughs> That'd be a lot better than in the middle of the night. Wish I could remember when it was I could schedule sleep for the day after. 
You'd think I would start to uh, catch on. It's my third time playing through this. <laughs> All right, I deliver the allowances, so I will study. Let's see if Minnie's here. No. So I just got smarter. Hmm. It's a nice day, so I decided to go for a walk outside. Plenty of other people have had the same idea. I can see a couple of girls, horses by the capes, out for a jog in the distance. And there's a small group of people up ahead having a discussion. Oh, is it that time already? No, an argument. Did that guy just shove somebody? I walk closer to see what's going on. A mindless, violent twit. Then no, I don't. Kyo, please, just let it go. What's he got that I haven't got, huh? He's my friend, that's all. Which means he listens to me. Maybe that's a new concept for you, listening to what a lady actually says. Shut your face! Please, just leave me alone. This is so embarrassing. You're the one making a fool out of me. I've done everything for you, and you just throw it back in my face. I'm not. You're killing me. You are killing me. Is that what you want? Is that what it takes to make you happy? No. Because that's what's going to happen, isn't it? You're not leaving me any choice, admit it. Man, back off. Fix your own problems. <laughs> Kyo glares at the two of them, his lip curling in distaste. Next time, you're not getting away. His fists still clenched, Kyo turns and walks away from Minnie and Jacob. Which means, purely by accident, that he's walking towards me. Oh, I didn't have the choice to avoid him or anything. I actually have to talk to him. Uh, hi, Kyo. Get out of my way. Oh, now I have it. I'm going to talk to you so I can report you to Hieronymus Grabner. I tag along after Kyo as he blusters past. I heard what happened. Nothing happened. What should I say to him? Forget about it. I don't think she wants to go out with you anymore. You need to forget about her and move on. Nobody asked you. You women are all the same. Pushing and prying and playing little games. Uh, no, we're not. You've been trying to keep us down, make us weak, but this time I'm fighting back. And if anyone gets in my way, then watch out. Ooh, he's sounding a little bit scary. Grabby! Grabby, grabby, grabby. <laughs> This situation could get very messy. I need to tell an adult. An adult that will take it seriously. I.e. not Professor Potsdam. Professor Grabner? Sir? <sighs> he sets down his notes with a sigh. Why are you bothering me? It's about Minnie. And Keo. I have no interest in the personal lives of students. I'm worried that Minnie's in danger. Explain. I know they've been dating, but they've been fighting too. It's been getting pretty dramatic. It's not normal. And she started spending time with Jacob, and now Jacob and Keo are butting horns. And Keo yelled at Minnie and said she was killing him. He's acting crazy. Enough. He rubs his forehead. Do you have any evidence that this is more than typical teenage hist- Oh god, you and your words. Histrionics. No, I'm just worried. Minnie's been kind of skittish lately, and she doesn't look well. Very well, I will attempt to speak with Miss Cochrane. Thank you! Now, if you don't mind, I would prefer to spend the rest of my weekend in peace. Uh, yes sir. Well, I did it. But did I do enough? That's interesting. He gives me... More consideration if I marry to him. He was a good husband. I miss him. Even though I'm liking the whole Virginia romance thing. Hieronymus is still my number one. <laughs> promises, promises. I realize the loophole in Virginia's contract. She has to get married, but it doesn't have to be to Jacob. 
So maybe in a couple of years it will be her and me. We'll see. Rabbit, rabbit. Virginia woke us up early for a little April Fool's joke. Oh no, I feel another sneeze. Ugh. Why does this game make me sneeze? <sighs> thunder warnings. Professor Gravener told me about the thunder call which will be performed during the first storm of April. Interference. I'm worried about Minnie and Keo, so I told Professor Gravener what I know about what's been going on. Oh, at least he still does something. Even if I gave him a headache. <laughs> Sorry, Hieronymus. What should I do? Jim, study, Jim, study, Jim. Done. It hit him. Hmm. Drink some water while I learn things. Hmm. Or fail things. Oh, well, here it is. After all my waiting, the first rumblings of thunder come in the night. Everybody out of bed. What? Is there a tornado? No, it's the thunder dance, right? What? You tell her. I have to go wake everyone else. I love that drum. Any vestiges of sleep are quickly chased away by the howling ruckus being raised in the gym. Everyone stomps and flails and screams. Pairs link hands and spin in circles. Someone tries to form a conga line, but they're told to break it up. Not wild enough. And then the fire dancing begins. I help shoo my classmates to the safety of the walls, while a few of the upperclassmen take turns weaving fire around themselves as they twist and spin. I can't see how they're doing it. Is the fire attached to anything, or are they controlling it solely with their minds? William turns out to be one of the best, keeping multiple streams of fire whipping dangerously around his limbs. Those skills must be terrifying in a duel. <clears throat> but for the rest of us, there is only stomping and howling until we collapse from exhaustion and can finally go back to bed. I was sort of expecting this, but I still need more sleep. I've got to remember it's the ninth next time. Schedule sleep after. Ah, I still learned something. Hooray! Yay! And it's the weekend. Now I'm free. What should I do? Let's go to the mall. Go to the court. Oh, whoa, whoa. Double stars. Hey! Did you see the little bakery closed down? Oh no! The cookie place? No, the one that sold pastries. I guess not enough people were buying them. If a business doesn't make money, it dies. Oh well, there's still plenty of other things to eat. But I'm okay. I just like to just watch people eat. Because it saves me money. And I still lose some stress. That's too bad about the little bakery store. Thunder call. There was a storm tonight, so we had to get out of our beds and dance. Small business support. The bakery and the food court closed down because it didn't have enough paying customers. I guess I should have bought some pastries while I was going to the mall. <laughs> what should I do this week? Um, Take a gym and then we'll sleep. Take a gym, study, gym, done. Whew. So almost worried I wasn't going to make that one. Yay! <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're almost at the end of another playthrough. I think this is Minnie. Cutie? I'm sorry, everything got so out of hand, I completely forgot. Forgot what? The May Day Ball. We're supposed to do a fundraiser. But that's only two weeks from now. What can we do? Well, you're the treasurer. You were supposed to have a plan. <laughs> of course I was. But I should have reminded you earlier. Ideally, we would want to raise funds from the public or the parents. But there isn't necessarily time for that now. 
With the year coming to a close, it's reasonable to get the class to pay their remaining allowances into the ball funds. You think we should collect donations? Possibly, or we could sell something. It should be your choice, really. Yeah, snack packs seem to have gone well. Well, final exams are coming up, right? We could sell exam snack packs. A little bag with crackers and candy and bottled water to keep you going while you study. That's a good idea. You'll need to arrange the details and prices this weekend and take orders by Monday at the latest. No problem. I'll get on that. I might want a snack myself. Finals are coming. That's right, they're coming. I notice that Ellen is still in bed, well after her usual time to get up on a weekday. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. I'm just staying in today. You're slacking off? Maybe I'm rubbing off on you. Today is Good Friday. Oh. That's not an official holiday here, though. I know. I just thought... It would be nice to have a quiet day. I guess that makes sense. Will I ever float your boat, Ellen, sweetie? Oh, I hate when it's quiet on a Saturday. Oh, Hold on, I gotta move around a little bit. Oh. <sighs> okay, there we go. On Saturday morning, I get up early to deliver the mail. Run into my favorite guy. Good morning, Miss Patootie. Are your preparations for the fundraiser complete? I've made up a list of the foods that should go into each pack. I mean, into, into each pack. And what I think it will cost to buy them. Although I haven't been to a grocery store, so you could probably get better deals. By my calculations, we'll make a profit, even if we only charge $5 a pack. But since people have leftover money to burn, we might raise more funds if we charge $10. Yeah, that's too much money. Five. We should charge $5 per pack. Very well. You had best be on your way. I'm sure you have studying to do. Yes, sir. After delivering the mail and allowances, I return to my room. What should I do today? Let's study. Hey, Minnie's here again. Hope Hieronymus talks some sense into you. <laughs> do, do, do. Diary. Fundraiser. We will be selling exam snack packs to raise money for the main day ball. Good Friday. Alan's staying in today because of the not exactly holiday. And that was that. I guess we're almost done this game already. I can't believe it. 